Hey twins, how you guys doing? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot and this is your Twin Flame Love Tarot Reading. We're going to take a look at what is going on on the Twin Flame journey. So if you're dealing with your twin, great. This is the place to be. We're going to channel messages for you guys, okay? So if you enjoy these readings, do give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell so you are notified when I drop these energy updates for you guys um, and if you're interested in a personalized tarot reading of course you know where to find me you can go to my website you can go to Etsy and I offer video recorded readings for twin flames I also offer message readings Etsy message readings okay so let's jump in um I'm gonna start off with some oracle card messages and of course uh you know I typically clarify as I go along and so yeah let's let's jump right in okay messages for my twin flames what is going on in the energy this is the end of february what's coming in what are my twins dealing with let's get some clarity answers guidance all right messages please for my twin flames please do like share comment and subscribe all right, we have moon maiden, new beginnings, okay? So this moon energy, there is a super moon coming up, right, on February the 20th. So there could be a lot of emotions that come up, right? I'm feeling the moon energy as being your emotions, maybe um, very up and down, on and off. Maybe it feels very strong right now. Maybe you're extra sensitive and aware and tuned in, tapped in. Um, some of you guys, you could be dealing with the cancer, okay? I'm getting that cancer energy. And we have new beginnings. So, you know, there could be some kind of new opportunity coming in with regard to this twin flame connection. And someone is wanting a new beginning. But it does feel like in order to have that new beginning, something very emotional could be coming up to the surface for you and your twin to deal with. So it feels like there's still healing that's taking place. And, you know, when you are emotionally charged up, you know, it could talk about healing having to still take place. What is triggering you? What are you still thinking about that is bringing forth these emotions? And so, yeah, I'm definitely feeling that energy. We have closing door completion. So, you know, closing door is like out with the old, right? Closing and ending chapter, situation, cycle is ending. So a lot of you guys, you're at a point of maybe closing something that no longer serves you. And it, it could be literally something that brought you pain, something that was very difficult to deal with. Um, closing out something that brought forth uh, disappointment right so completion so there is some kind of like maybe even like karmic cycle ending because a lot of you guys you learned the lesson you you're learning something you're able to finally put an end to it and there's completion right i've, I've mastered it i've learned a new skill i'm i'm more tapped in than i ever been now i'm aware of why i'm on this twin flame journey and so there could be something your person your twin is also closing the door to some of you guys are like mirroring each other you're going through the same step process with each other and so it does feel like there's the energy of out with the old and with the new um we also have the horned cactus it says resourcefulness. It, it feels like maybe your person pushed you away. With that horn cactus, it feels like there's like that prickly energy where someone is like guarding themselves. Like, stay away from me. And the reason is because your person may have felt like they needed to protect themselves. They couldn't open up. They couldn't be vulnerable. They couldn't be intimate. So someone definitely could be wearing like this hard shell, this cactus, horn cactus-like energy. But now there's something here where they're recognizing that, you know what, there is something that is of use to me, right? There's something within this connection that they're finding to be very resourceful. They're maybe wanting to go back to. They're maybe finding value in. And so something that maybe they pushed away initially, maybe they're taking a second look at. That's what it makes you feel. There's a second look being taken at it because maybe it's not so scary. Maybe it's not so bad. Um, we also have dances on one foot. So this is the energy of like someone maybe going back and forth, right? Balancing act, it says, so this is like a two pentacles energy where maybe there was some juggling going on, okay? A lot of you guys, your twin may have been juggling you or juggling the idea of being with you. There could have been a lot of ons and offs, back and forth. Sometimes they were in, sometimes they were not. There could have been an energy of juggling multiple options in love, multiple people. You could have been well aware of this. And so there's the energy of like this juggling act has to come to an end. And for a lot of you guys, it feels like your person was juggling you because not because they didn't care, not because they didn't want to be with you, but there was something they felt the need to protect. 
They were protecting their heart. They were protecting themselves from going in too hard, from opening up and being hurt. So there's the energy of like second guessing it. And this is your person saying, I'm tired of second guessing it. We have a butterfly who wants to bloom, who wants to blossom, who wants to transform. They want to open up and experience love and happiness. And so your person's saying, I can't keep going back and forth. I can't keep being one in, one foot in and one foot out. And so now there's the energy of your person saying, you know what? I can be happy with just one person. Dances on one foot gives me the energy of like, I could be happy. I could be in this place of, of joy if I have this one valuable person in my life, one person that I dedicate my life to. And so, yeah, it feels like your person is finding comfort in being in a monogamous relationship, maybe having that exclusivity and just being with that one person, whether it's a commitment or not. We also have first breath beginner's mind so there's some kind of new insight new idea new thinking this could be a gemini libra aquarius first breath is like this is your person saying okay let me you know take a step back let me take a deep breath and let me go in so there's the energy of a new beginning a new beginning and it could require a lot of strength it could require this person to be you know to really think about something before they jump in beginner's mind is maybe there's something they've been doing a lot of overthinking about there could have been a lot of eight of swords nine of swords energy stress frustration right but it does feel like this is like the full card go for it take that leap of faith don't be afraid you know you may not know what's going to happen but go for it in and you'll find out spirit of the river so we have movement toward adventure so there's the energy of like your person being pushed and nudged in this new direction and it does feel like this is the energy of like someone here being pushed in a direction to be more emotionally available river is like water energy so emotions and feelings being able to flow and be at flow with their emotions and feelings to be able to openly express their feelings and emotions so now someone is saying I'm going to be working toward opening up and really connecting on the emotional level because this is someone that wants to move toward having that type of relationship. Movement toward adventure. This is someone that is recognizing that I can be happy and I can live a, a very happy, harmonious life with someone if I'm able to trust and open up my emotions and let go of fears that have been causing blockages in my life. All right, we also have the wailing tree reconciliation so your person could be literally wailing out like there's the energy of like i want this i want you i i miss you right there's fire here so this could be wands like leo sag aries energy maybe you're dealing with the fire sign but what it's telling me is that there could be something regarding the home trees indicate home family trees right you know something that brings you stability and security and maybe your person feels like all oh, that has been ruined the fire has burned their home right there's some maybe tragic energy some tragic moment tower moment that they've experienced and something has crumbled something has gotten away they've experienced loss they've experienced some kind of tragedy so there's an the energy of now wanting and being open to reconciliation willing tr willing tree reconciliation so someone is now thinking about what it would entail what do they need to do in order to have some kind of peaceful reconciliation with you someone is definitely opening up to that okay we also have the wall obstacles but it's not going to be easy so the wall could be literally something they're having to penetrate. They're having to um, overcome. They're having to uh, climb over. The whale could be literally representing of some kind of blockage or boundary that maybe you've put up. Some of you guys, you had to protect yourself from your twin. Maybe they did something that hurt you and you don't trust them. And so now there's a big fat wall up. There's a big, big wall or border up. And that's what the obstacle is. Now your person is having to break down that wall. Now they're having to have you tr find a way on how, how they're going to get back in. This is someone who wants you to open up. They want you to trust them again. And this is someone that could be now challenge with how to drop this wall how to break down the wall the barrier that is between you and them because they want to reconcile but the only problem is that there's a big obstacle in the way we also have jeweled web connectivity so this is confirming that your person is still very much connected to you 
you and your twin are forever connected energetically, right? Your thoughts could be one, your dreams could be one. You could be connecting in the 5D dimension. When you go to sleep, you're, you're communicating with each other. That jeweled web makes me feel like you guys are connected in a way that's very sacred, right? Jewel, jewelry is like value. There's something sacred. There's something very special about this connection. And maybe your person got lost in a web. Maybe your person uh, told a web of lies. Maybe there's something that where they, they took a different road. But they're still are wanting to come back to what this was. They're still wanting to come back to where they've, they've uh, you know, first... Uh, their beginning where you know where it all started and so maybe they've gone down the wrong path but there's the energy of making a u-turn and having some kind of reconciliation going back to where the connection started connectivity right you guys are forever connected um we also have crown games crown games right use of power so it does feel like maybe there was some power control issues i'm getting emperor and empress so you guys could have been definitely divine counterparts but there is something here where your person may have played a lot of games. Maybe they took this connection to be a one big fat game. Didn't take you serious. Took advantage of you. And so now there's the energy of your person learning how to use this power correctly, right? The power of love. It feels like a lot of you, you would do anything for your person, right? You jump over a mountain for this person. You go above and beyond for this person. And they took advantage of that because they knew they had that power over you. They knew that they can get you and manipulate you. They knew that they can make you do things that perhaps you wouldn't do for anybody else because there was a love connection there because you deeply cared for them. And so now your person is like, I'm tired of playing these games. I, I can't continue to abuse my power. I need to correctly use the power, right? So there's something going on regarding that for sure. And then we have hollow bone, hollow bone, teachability. So now your person is in a place where like now it comes down to the bone. The hollow bone is like an empty raw bone, right? Where your person's like, now I'm in this place of lack. Now I'm at a complete loss. Now I'm hollow. I'm empty inside. There's nothing left of me. And your person's recognizing that there's no happiness. There's no love. There's no peace, right? It feels like they're completely empty. They have nothing and maybe they have money, maybe they have uh, finances or something, but it feels like, like things materialistic, but that means nothing. They're still left feeling hollow, empty inside, in the place of lack or at a loss because there's no love. And so now what your person is saying, like, I'm willing to learn teachability. I'm willing to learn. Teach me how to love. Teach me how to be your partner. Teach me what I need to know. And so I really feel like your person's like now more open to the process of learning and being able to connect with you in a way that, you know, they haven't been able to connect for. So there's a lot of change coming in. I love it. So let's see what else we can find out. Messages for my twins out there. Oops, okay, we got a card that flew out. Going with the flow. So a lot of water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It does feel like your person's like saying, I don't want to go with the flow with how I feel. I've been feeling these emotions, been feeling these feelings, and maybe I've just been like ignoring it. Maybe I've just been like, Looking at these feelings as being something that was just, you know, nothing that wasn't serious that I, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't even like consider. So now your person is learning how to now connect with their emotions and honor their emotions and feelings, right? Traveling. So there's definitely energy of eight of wands travel, wanting to come see you. Wanting to travel, you know, willing to travel the distance or do whatever it takes going on this difficult journey, overcoming these obstacles in order to connect with you, in order to be in flow and in sync with you. So there's definitely this movement. I'm seeing this energy as like movement change, wanting to maybe even initiate some kind of communication, right? Traveling to finally be able to send you the message, maybe a heartfelt emotion, uh, message with this going with the flow, watery energy. The burden, okay? Not surprised we have that card because there's obstacles here as well. So your person is saying, you know, I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I, I don't, I've been on this journey for a really long time. I feel burdened. My past is heavy. I've gone through a lot. And it feels like your person saying, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. So there's the energy of your person looking into the far out distance, looking at what the journey may look like and what it entails. And they may be very, very, again, Tired, exhausted, thirsty, but it does feel like this is something that's worthwhile. Uh, we do have the new vision card. So yeah, 
This is the energy of a new beginning, right? And it starts with them seeing, seeing what the end goal is. If they can see it, then they believe in it. And so there could be something here where your person is now seeing and visualizing, visualizing what their future could look like with you, visualizing family, home, partnership. Um, and there's something here that now they're working toward. And maybe they didn't see it before, and so they weren't working toward that. Playfulness. So someone here could be wanting to be more playful and flirty and fun. I'm seeing the energy of like wanting to connect with you, three of cups, wanting to have more fun in the moment, wanting to live life, wanting to be happy, smile, giggle. Maybe you guys connected on that level. Maybe you're very silly and this person's very humorous. There's the energy of wanting to be playful again. I wouldn't be surprised if your person came in with like a page of cups energy and wanting to be friendly and just like get you to be like on that high, that wavelength with them. And then we have the understanding card. So it does feel like we have like two doves coming together and there could be a mutual understanding where you guys are like saying, I understand what you did. I, I understand why you had to, you know, initiate this breakup. I, I know, I understand how you may be feeling. I understand that you're angry with me. I, there is a mutual understanding. So you both could be sharing how you ultimately feel and connecting in a way that you've never been able to connect before. But it does feel like this is coming with like, there's a lot of compassion here. There's an energy of empathy. And that could be something your person has learned during this time. How to, sh how to show empathy, how to show feelings. And maybe that hasn't been always easy for them. All right, so I'm gonna get some uh, messages from the Lover's Oracle. Why not? Okay, we have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So there's an energy of reflection. You both could be reflecting on the past, on what things were, the good times, the memories, right? Um, but also this is like the hermit, Virgo energy. Maybe your, your twin is a hermit, uh, a Virgo, right? <laughs> Maybe they've been in this hermit-like energy, reflecting, doing some soul-searching inner work. This could be a time of, um, you know, deep, deep thinking about everything, their life, their past, their partnerships. And it's saying trust, trust, even if you don't see something, even if something is not uh, visible, trust and have faith. The universe is working behind the scenes. And, you know, this time, give each other some space at the moment. It's needed. Space is needed for you guys to process these feelings, for you guys to get some kind of uh, insight, for you to learn a lesson. It says, be aware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you possess. Yeah, equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So again, there's some mirroring going on for sure. And you may be seeing a side of your person that you don't like, but maybe it's something that you've exuded, you know? And so there could be something about now seeing your twin in a different way because now you've worked on those things. And now your person is able to show you a different side of them because you've done the work. You've done the individual healing. Imagine all the unwanted thoughts and Oh, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So it's the en energy of out with the old, in with the new. Anything that's negative, negative thinking, negative self-limiting thoughts, beliefs are all dissipating. All that's being released. And there's a lot of new beginnings coming in with this energy. So I like that. And then we have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So there's new beginnings all over this reading. And it really comes down to like believing, releasing something, purging, letting go, and being open. Open up your heart to this newfound beginning that's coming in for you and your twin. So I'm going to leave things off just like that. Um, I wasn't able to get to my other Oracle cards. I wanted to finish off on that energy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will have more Twin Flame readings coming down the pipeline for you guys. Just stay tuned. Hit that notification bell and have a great week ahead. All right. Take care.